the only thing that matters is if somebody is giving you a line of reasoning they should only go from what is in your experience and take you ahead if they talk of anything which is not in your experience even if they use some word which you don't understand and you don't know what they are referring to with that word it's of no use a language evolves objective world evolves human intellect is evolving the society and the way we are interacting and the things that we know today whatever the the whole ambience of the society is changing if you direct if you take up an interpretation which was told just even just 500 years ago and if you read it now the words they use and the reasoning they use the examples they use will not strike you whoever is making sense to you now is only talking in your language today that is why it makes sense even if you read bhagavad gita there are many things in the bhagavad gita also which you can't relate to just like that if you have to relate to it you have to study that whole society not just philosophical study you have to study that you have to do a different kind of study to get a real feel of what is being told that you can't take bhagavad gita stand alone and decipher it you sh- if you have to really understand bhagavad gita you have to be there in that society people think some of the things question as uh, questions raised by arjuna and some of the things explained by krishna in the gita is uh, some unique thing in the bhagavad gita it's not it is there in mahabharata so many places the same word the language krishna is using the words he is using philosophical words technical words that he is using were all very common words in those times it is just throughout mahabharat for example i am giving because you are uh, you know about bhagavad gita you know he talks about sankhya and yoga and he compares saying both we read the same thing in bhagavad gita what is highlighted throughout is sankhya sankhya and yoga yoga only these two words these two words are high emphasized because these are two prominent schools sankhya and yoga were the two prominent spiritual schools in india at that time in shanti parva i looked at when i looked at shanti parva there it is explained a little more meaning you will get a picture as to where that society was and why they were using these words sankhya is a very common word used do you know what that word sankhya means numbers i know sankhya is number and sankhya will mean count those who count you leave that i'm telling that is not the final meaning i will ask you because many of you uh, are indian you know indian languages there are common word i will try to lead you to it sankhya comes from sankhya okay can you try to guess what would be the meaning of the root word of sankhya so no idea see you know sanskrita sam is a prefix so you leave that that prefix is a very common thing it will come everywhere sambandha and uh, sanyoga and whatever whatever sam is a prefix which just means implies thoroughness yes hmm. so leave the sam what is less sure Yeah. Can you can you see other words in common Indian language commonly used and guess the meaning of that at least the shade of the meaning some other words which have that kya khyati khyati vyakhyana okay can you guess the, what the shade of that root is for example khyati what is it used for today prasit prasit same uh-huh. you are you are known to many people uh-huh. kya thing is you are known to many people uh-huh. the root meaning of the meaning of that kya is to reveal to perceive to make something known uh-huh. then that, that word is there even in yoga sutra viveka kya thing and that is uh, referring to clarity of perception if you are a, you are a sankhya means you have clarity of perception not a philosophy
So I'm just telling this word is a commonly used word in those times. And they will relate to it. Some came in, somebody will see. They will see it like that. Today we are far off, 5,000 years. We don't even know what it means. We are going on saying Sankhya, Sankhya. Sankhya, that's Sankhya philosophy. According to Sankhya philosophy, 